Lesson 22, Collisions. Question of the day. How can programmers build on abstractions to create further abstractions? Man, they need to simplify these questions of the day because the past two have been weird. Okay, abstraction, a simplified representation of something more complex. So it takes very complex code and it makes it simple, simplified. Okay, so new code, sprite.bounce, sprite.bounce off, sprite.collide, sprite.displace. Uh, so these are similar, but they'll, they'll walk us through activities that will uh, differentiate between them. Uh, set collider, uh, we already learned that, and sprite.bounciness. Great, so let's get into exercise two. Sprite interactions. So far, you've been able to create simple sprite interactions by using the sprite is touching block. Let's see. Okay, so this is pushing the monkey off the screen. For example, you've reset a coin to a different location on the screen when a character touches it. Now it's time to start making sprites have more complex interactions. Do this. Run the program and observe the interaction between the two sprites. So the giraffe pushed the monkey off the screen. Discuss with the neighbor. Using only the commands you already know, how, how, how could you create this kind of interaction? There are many ways to do it, but here are some blocks to consider. Okay, yeah, so sprite is touching when giraffe touches monkey. Monkey dot velocity x equals, you know, 5 when it originally equaled 0. Um, sprite.x, sprite.y, hmm, sprite.x, it's really just x though, they're moving along the x-axis, so let's leave it at that, move on to exercise three, program a sprite interaction, here's a similar program, but it doesn't work yet, do this, use your plan to program the giraffe to push the monkey off the screen, okay, so yeah, the monkey doesn't have a velocity x right now, so we want to say when giraffe is touching monkey. Uh, I think that's an if statement. If giraffe is touching, right? Yeah. If giraffe is touching monkey. What do we want it to do? Think for a second. What do we want it to do? We want monkey dot velocity x to equal let's say two so let's reset it run it check out how this works and this giraffe is moving so slow come on boom and yeah that bumps them off the screen perfect so let's move on x okay now write your own sprite interaction now the elephant should push the hippo off the screen Notice that the elephant moves at a random y velocity each time the program runs. So the elephant's going to be moving slower this time, a little faster this time, slower this time. Run the program, use the patterns from the last level, and write code that makes the elephant push the hippo off the screen. So open exercise three in a new tab. Okay, so here we have exercise three opened in a new tab. This is the if statement that we used. I am going to show you that you need to copy and paste this if statement but i'm not going to give you the answer okay so move your cursor down into the if statement right here below line 16 and copy and paste this okay so we're going to need to change a few things i'm not going to tell you what we need to change you should be able to figure that out in exercise three it was moving along the x-axis, okay? This time it's moving along the y-axis, okay? That should be a big enough hint for you to be able to solve this. Okay, moving on to exercise five. Okay, displace. This type of sprite interaction is so common that there's a block for it. Sprite.displace. Someone tried to use sprite.displace block to make the elephant push the hippo, but there is a bug. Uh, do this. Find the line of code where the sprite.displace block is used and fix the error. So it should be in the draw loop, and it is on line 18. Uh, so they're saying, we want the elephant to push the hippo. The elephant to push the... Okay, but the hippo is pushing the elephant. So, guys, this is a very simple fix. Um, we have the hippo 
pushing. Yeah, the hippo is pushing the elephant. That's because hippo is written first. We want whatever you want to be be uh, be doing the pushing needs to go first. Hopefully that that does make sense. Hopefully that helps you think about it. Um, so now the elephant will push the hippo, just because I wrote elephant first. Okay, so simple, simple fix. Now let's move on to six. Okay, more collision blocks. Three new types of sprite interactions have been added to the toolbox. Sprite.collide, sprite.bounce, and sprite.bounceOff. How do you think they will affect the sprites? Do this. Switch out the displace block for the sprite collide, sprite bounce, and sprite bounce off blocks. Hint, if you're having trouble doing this with blocks, then switch over to text mode. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think I'm going to do text mode for this. So let's see how displace works. And we saw that in the last time. So the parrot should push the penguin, which it does. So now let's change it to uh, collide. And let's see how that works. Uh, collide. Oh, okay. Collide. Is that maybe that's like the opposite parrot collide penguin? Doesn't really show us what that what that is but the penguin did push the pair at that time so now let's change it to bounce and i think with bounce they'll both bounce away from each other and we actually don't need to go back to block mode so let's see okay yeah they bounced off each other uh but i shouldn't say that because this this block is called bounce off the next block bounce off so click here type in off remember the capital o Okay, notice that's a capital O right there. Okay, uh, bounce off. So, okay, that makes sense. Parrot bounce off penguin. So, the parrot bounced backward and fast. And the penguin kept moving. Okay, so that's it for exercise six. Let's move on to exercise seven. Okay, let's start with seven A. Okay, I'm going to change it back to block mode because that's what I like. Uh, collision types. There are four types of collisions that we use in Game Lab. Displace, collide, bounce, and bounce off. These blocks will cause a certain type of interaction between the sprite and its target. Do this. Choose the best block to model the basketball's interaction with the floor. Hint, you can try the different blocks out or read about them in the help and tips tab. So if you want to be quick, do help and tips, but I'm going to go through each one. I mean, I would think bounce off though. It's either bounce or bounce off because all right let's try it let's try bounce uh, and we're gonna do ball and what's the floor called wood all right let's see how that goes okay oops we can't figure out what ball is oh basketball so look when you get an error, read the error message. We can't figure out what ball is. Line 11. So I look at line 11, and I look at ball, and that is the error. Okay. All right, let's see what bounce looks like. Ha! We definitely don't want that. The wood bounced off the, off the ball. So let's see what bounce off does. And I didn't need to put it back into block mode, but that's okay. All right, that's what we want. Perfect. Now let's go to 8B. Excuse me, I mean 7B. And 7B is collision types. There are four types of collisions that we use in Game Lab, just like we just read. These blocks will cause a certain interaction between the sprite and its target. Okay, so what do we want here? I don't know what we want here. Let's, let's just start with, I don't think it'd be bounce. Let's start with displace. And we have an apple. And what's the other one? arrow I don't know what we would want here let's see ha no we don't want that we don't want displace let's see what collide does collide um choose the best block to make the arrow stop Oh, when it reaches the apple. Oh, so that was displace. Okay. Yeah, 
that that's definitely displaced. Okay, cool. So that's seven B. So let's do seven C. Okay, so same thing up here. Now we want this to, I think we are going to want this cart to bounce off this cart. Let's try that though. Um, all right, here, let me go to block mode so I can see this better. Okay, there's the draw loop. I think it's going to be bounce off. That's what I'm guessing. And you add collisions here. Oh, okay. Uh, blue cart, gray cart. So I think we want blue cart to bounce off gray cart, I'm thinking. Well, how do they spell gray? G-R-A-Y. G-R-A-Y cart. Uh, that's my son making noise. Let's see. Um, okay, so no, we want this to stop, even though this looks like it would make more sense physically speaking. We don't want bounce off, so let's change it to just bounce. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's what that's bounce. Okay, so that's the good, that's the one that works, even though I like bounce off better. And let's go to eight or seven D. Oh, this one's cool. I like this. So we want the little girl to go or the person to go with the suitcase. And I made the mistake of doing bounce off last level. But here I'm thinking that that works. So we have kid and suitcase as our as our sprites. Uh, uh, let's try kid and suitcase here. Oh, that didn't work. Um, so maybe suitcase and then kid. Hmm. Okay, but that's correct. But um. Hmm. Can we make the velocity different? Okay, kid, 0.25. Okay, maybe let's make her the kid's velocity a little smaller. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I don't think it is. Okay, so I don't think it is bounce off. I think it's actually, um, it's going to be collide. Collide. Let's see how this goes. All right, perfect. It's collide. Okay, let's move on to exercise eight. Okay, here's what I will do for exercise eight. I'm not going to do it for you, but it says you've now seen four different types of sprite interactions and you'll need all four of them for this challenge. So you want to scroll down to your draw loop and you want to get uh, four of these in your draw loop. So do that. One, two, three, four. You know, I don't need to keep doing all of them for you. I want to see if I can go over some challenges. But figure them out based on this image, which ones go with what. Okay, do that. So I'm going to try and go over all these. So let's do 9A. So here we have the two sprites and they're bouncing in a weird way. So what we need to do is this debug block, we need to set it to true for both the sprites. And that will show us why they are bouncing so oddly because they're it's because their colliders are square we need to set that to make them um um i'm sorry circle circular okay so how do we do that well hmm i'm forgetting what the name of the block is here it says change the gold coins starting x position to 51 so gold coin 51 so the whole point of this level is actually just for us to see that these are squares. It's not for us to change it to circles, but we did see uh, how that happens. So let's move on to 9B. Okay, 9B. Okay, so this is the level where we're going to change it to a circle. So it's the set collider block, change it to circle. We already did this in the last level, I thought. Okay, they don't have one down here, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it real quick and set this to silver coin. Oh, my video time's running out. You know what to do. Figure